Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to film a Christmas gift guide for you. If you are my husband, don't watch this video. Okay, so for my sister-in-law, she actually asked for this, but it is a really lovely gift. It's from Country Road and it's a beach towel. It's in this really nice sort of tropically print really cool this coconut oil hair treatment and one of these sheet masks so these type of things just kind of go with that theme of beachy kind of pampering so they're going to go with the towel so mecca has this beautiful packaging for christmas so this is by Corres or Cores, I'm not sure how to say it, but it's Guava Body Butter. I've got this myself and I've bought it for someone else as well. I absolutely love this. It smells like summer. It smells like the beach. Next, I have a couple of presents for my mum. A three pack of tea towels. This, I got her this table runner, which is in the same print as one of the tea towels. She asked for a new copy of the Common Sense Cookery book and I was so excited when I was in Harry Hartog's. They had this really cool collector's edition. Another thing I have for my mum are these beeswax wraps. So I actually have a few beeswax wraps myself. What they are are reusable food covers that you can use instead of using cling film so they're environmentally friendly and they just wrap around any bowl or dish like this and they kind of cling to it like that and when you're finished with them you just unwrap it wipe wipe it down with a damp cloth and you can reuse them again and again so next, I'm going to show you the presents that I got for my husband. First of all, I have this stoic journal. If you've got someone who's interested in philosophy or you know who is interested in stoicism, then they might like this gift. I also got one for my brother because I accidentally ordered two, but my brother is also into the same thing. So they're both getting the same gift and they can have a book club. I got this one for my husband because he's into the Jack Reacher series. Um, I find like Kindles and stuff are kind of a killjoy with giving books these days. I personally like reading old school books so this is what my husband is getting. Next for Lindsay I got him a vinyl record of Paul Kelly. We have a record player and most of the records are ones that I've collected for myself uh, before I met him. Now for Lindsay, I've got him a couple of shirts. He's just getting a couple of shirts that I found from Cotton On. I like the look of rolled up sleeves. Okay, so while we're still talking about gifts for the men, I got for my brother this. It's the Karma Soap from Lush. It's one of my favorite smells. I think sometimes people overlook this kind of cosmetic present for guys, but I think the guys secretly like their pamper stuff. So for my dad, he actually asked me for some shorts for Christmas. I knew that he would just probably be bumming around relaxing in these, so I'm not gonna spend a ton of money. I got three pairs of shorts for him from Big W. So these are just some swimming shorts for, you know, the pool. These are, some kind of, you know, go up to the shops, chuck on in the afternoon, casual barbecue type shorts. And these are apartment pants. Really floppy, flop on the lounge, watch a movie shorts. Also for my dad, I'm making him a calendar with photos of the grandchildren. It's something that he requested that I make for him. And I haven't made that yet. I'm going to show you some presents that I bought for my nieces who are eight and nine. I found this game of giant pickup sticks and also this game of giant Jenga. 
I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep this one. It might take up a little bit too much space. I don't know. Their parents might hate me if I give them this. But anyway, we'll see. For my niece Charlotte, I also got her this little pot of... It's called Santa's Belly Shower Jelly from Lush. Some presents that we have bought for our son Jed. We have bought him this little toy telephone because I love these old fashioned telephones and I just really want to play with this. He's probably going to be confused because these telephones don't exist anymore. Probably should have got him one of those toy mobile ones. But anyway, I also have for him this little tam wooden tambourine. Kmart have a really, really awesome range of wooden toys for kids. This is two years, but I think he'd, he's fine with it. Next, you can't go wrong with a couple of books. So I have Grug. Jed loves all these books that have textures and whatnot. Next, we have just a hooded towel. This one is from Kmart. Something that he needs. And the last thing is this splash mat. It's an inflatable mat. I think it's about probably a meter squared and you plug it into the hose and it um, like spurts up water from the edges of the mat. Jed's birthday is in February. So we have a couple of other toys just put aside for him for them. Like we've got a, a sand and water table and a little trike but he's not crawling yet, certainly not walking, so we're gonna hold on to them until February. I think Jetty wants to say hello. Oh, no. Are you having a good day so far? Yeah, you just had a good two hour nap, didn't you? Are you waiting? Are you waiting? Good boy! Oh! 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 Okay, I'm gonna go play now, aren't we? Are you waving? Good boy! Oh, don't look at the table. Bye. I forgot to show you guys what I'd put in Lindsay's Christmas stocking. So, here we go. What have I got in here? Okay. I found him this classic logic puzzles, which I got from Harry Hartog. I just thought that that would be something fun that we could do like together. You know? Um, I got him just some sunscreen. Yeah. So Latan has come out with this pineapple scented lotion and I got him he likes his lollies, so I got him just this Wonka nerd thing. Um, Daily Defense UV sunscreen. Just a little thing of smoky nuts. I got him this little shower gel from Lush. It's uh, the dirty scent. He has the Dirty Scent um, Spray, which I love, by the way. And I got him this pair of socks with little toucans on them from Country Road. When it's closer, well, actually, let's be honest, the day before Christmas, I'll put some chocolates and stuff in there. I'm not going to put them in now because, like I've said before, I will just eat them myself. So that's his Christmas stocking. Hi everyone, yes I am back again. So I went to Kmart this morning to get something completely unrelated and obviously ended up getting more Christmas presents. Oops, I really need to stop, but I had to show you these. Well, the first one is actually for me. I got this cute little flamingo ornament. Couldn't go past for my brother, just for like a novelty thing to go with his present. I found this chili, um, chili chocolate roulette so some of them are super spicy and other, others aren't and it's just like a fun little fun little thing and then for my nieces I just got them a couple of little gift bags with a few little fun bits and pieces in them I love putting together bags or gifts with 
lots of little things together. So for one of them, I got this Flamingo tape dispenser. She's the nine-year-old. And in there, I'll put the Santa's belly stuff that I showed you before from Lush. And I've just got a couple of the Magic Elf um, chocolate crackling, you know, the chocolate crackling, whatever, um, popping candy chocolate. And then for the other one, I got these fruity the other one my other niece i got this little cute pack of post-it notes so it's like all different sizes of notes so noisy traffic outside do you know when you're in school and you're at that age i don't know what grade she's going into if it's two or three but i remember just loving writing notes to my friends um and little strawberry scented erasers and again, the Magic Elves. If you're looking for stocking stuffers, whether it's for an adult who loves stationery or beauty stuff or a child, Kmart is so good for stocking stuffers. Anyway, I need to have my tea. I'm really tired. Went out last night to celebrate my parents' engagement. Had a few rosé sangrias. I'm really tired and struggling this morning, so... I'm gonna go and wrap up this video, hopefully post it and finish my cup of tea. I am actually finished now, I think. <laughs>